All right, so here, what we're going to do is we're going to do this problem C on the top of page 82 real quick. So um, the way I'd start this one is I'd start it there on that back surface, and my mouse is kind of freaking out there. I'd start this with a 3 by 3 um, block there on the back. Make sure my ortho's on. I'm on that back surface of the object on the front plane. Um, I'm going to draw this 3 by 3 block there. Um, I always block it out to start with and then add in the curved portions afterwards. So here I'm going to go ahead and go back. Oh, if that's three by three, oh, maybe I'm going to make that one inch thick. Let's see. Ooh, one inch thick looks a little bit too thick. Let's go maybe a half of an inch thick. Let's see what that looks like. Oh, I think that looks better. And that's one thing I do when I do these things is if something doesn't look good, oh, I change it up and I make it a little bit different. So, so there's that. Um, now with that, I need to curve off these corners of it. Uh, that looks like to me about a half inch radius. So I'm going to come in here with a little layout line. Come over here a half of an inch. Come here down a half of an inch. And put in those two center lines. I'm going to go ahead and do that on all the corners I need it on. Which is just this three because the other bottom corner down here is covered up. So I'm going to come down here a half. And over a half. And continue to do the same thing all the way around this block. And there's that. So now, to get those corners on there, I'm going to go ahead and do, again, it's a corner. I can't fill it because you can't fill it on an isometric. It's going to have to be an isocircle. So I'm going to go ellipse, E-L, I for isocircle, and start it right there and put in my half-inch ellipse. Um, I'm going to go ahead and copy that to there and to there. And that looks really good. Besides, I did not get this one copied to the right place. Oh. I wonder when I did that if I didn't type that in a half of an inch. I might have messed up. I may have mistyped. Ah, I did. Very good. Let me copy this one back over there now. Oh, come on. When you can't hit the right commands. Okay. So there we go. This looks... And I wonder if I messed this one up too. Let's try this one again here too. Oh, yes, I'm down in the wrong spot, too. Okay, so there, that one is done. I'm going to go ahead and trim out these corners of it. And trim out the corners up here. Erase out that one. Trim here. And trim out a couple of the corners. So, one. We're going to trim those all the way around and erase. And, you know, I'm just going to erase out my extra lines here. Something like that. And that's got that front surface of it done. Okay, so now from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put some stuff on the right layers. Um, I like to do this as I go. Um, I always say it lessens the confusion if you do that. So I'm going to put all that stuff on the object layer. There, that looks good. Um, these lines, again, I just think that looks a little bit confusing with those in there. So now what I'm going to do is, and, and maybe it doesn't, whichever. Um, this is on that front surface. I want it now on that back surface. So I'm going to copy, and I'm going to copy this arc line there, 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 and there. And then copy all those things back at the 30 degree angle to the right. Um, back the thickness, which is a half of an inch. So I'm going to hit my F5 here to get on the right plane. And I'm going to copy it back in that direction a half of an inch. Right there, that looks good. That's got that back there in the position it needs to be. On here, much like what we did the other day, you're going to draw a line from this quadrant. And I'm going to go ahead and do that on the object layer. I'm going to draw a line from this quadrant to that quadrant. Trim out that little piece. Erase out my extra little chunk. And that's got that looking nicely. Uh, I'm going to draw a line from, again, that quadrant to that quadrant. Trim out to that little piece there. And that. And that has the base of this thing looking perfect. Um, again, I didn't do this bottom corner here because that's going to be covered by that cylinder that's coming out of there. From here, it really goes pretty quick. I'm going to go ahead and go back to my, uh, my layout layer. I'm going to put center lines from top to bottom, from there to there. 
in there to there. Notice, whoops, I did not want to turn that on. Notice, I'm not clicking to this midpoint because then it puts that line in there crooked because I didn't fill up this corner. So I'm just going to go straight across like so and then trim or not those extras off. It really isn't that important because that is my center point. From there, I'm going to go an ellipse, EL, ISO circle, and put my ISO circle right there. Since I did this with a three inch diameter or three inch across, I think a diameter of two is going to look appropriate. And look at the book. Yeah, that's pretty similar. I can maybe go a little bit larger. Let me try it again here. Ellipse, ISO circle, um, diameter. Let's maybe try 2.5. Yeah, that maybe looks a little bit better um, for the proportions of the drawing. So there that is. From there, now I have the height of that. It comes out towards me a little bit. Again, I think that looks like about the thickness of the base, which I did a half of an inch. So I'm just going to do that same thing. I'm going to copy this one. I'm going to copy it again the 30 degrees down and to the left. So I need to change my um, my my view. So I'm going to hit my F5 to get on a different plane. And I'm going to copy this in this direction a half of an inch. Okay. Now I do have a lot of layout there. It starts to get a little bit confusing with that layout. So if you want to get rid of this layout, go for it. Get rid of that layout and get rid of some of that confusion. And hopefully that will help visualize it a little bit better. If you're struggling with that, if the layout doesn't bother you, leave it on there. It's just fine. Okay. So now here, again, like we've done from the start, we're going to do a line from this quadrant to that quadrant. A line from this one to that one. And then I have to trim out what's not, what's not seen. So what is not going to be seen here is going to be that little piece there. That little piece there. And then you're going to erase out that portion of it right there. Now, the other part that's not going to be seen is this part here that gets covered because that cylinder is covering it. So I'm going to trim out here and here. Erase out that little piece right there. And there you go. That is that portion of it again done. I'm going to select all those, put all that on my object layer, and that part's done. Once again, I have another ellipse, ISO circle. It's out there to the center of this one, so I'm just going to go right to there. I'm going to hit my F5 to get on my right plane. And if that last one is two and a half, yeah, this one might be about two. So let me try two. See, ooh, ooh, I forgot to put in a radius, or sorry, a diameter. Let me try that again. Ellipse, ISO circle. Ellipse, ISO circle. There now, D for diameter of two. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. Now this one, I'm going to copy it out. I'm going to copy it out again, moving down and toward to the left. So I'm going to hit my F5. I'm going to come out in this position. If that other one was a half an inch thick, eh, maybe this is about two inches. So I'm going to go two. That looks pretty good. I'm going to draw a line from the quadrant to quadrant there, quadrant to quadrant there, and then trim out everything I don't see anymore. So I'm going to trim, trim out those. That looks pretty good. I'm going to select these parts and put all that on the object layer. So there we go. Um, the thing is looking really pretty good. Only thing I really have left is putting that hole in the end of it. So I'm going to go ellipse, ISO circle, change my plane, and I think a diameter maybe about one. Let's see. Yeah, maybe a little bit bigger wouldn't hurt to look a little more proportional. I'll try that again. Ellipse, let me try one and a quarter. Oh, and I forgot to hit diameter. Jeez, you know, guys, I'm forgetting everything. So diameter 1.25. Oh, I think that looks mighty fine. I'm going to change that to object layer. That really looks nice. I'm going to take this drawing. I'm going to move it a little bit so it's centered up a little bit better on my title block and border space. Right there. That's not too bad. It's not perfect. Maybe down a little bit more in that direction. And that really looks pretty good. From there, I would go in and I'd edit my title block and call this P. 82, uh, top, and C. Um, I'd go ahead and finish in the hour, which you probably already have, but material, make that out of, out of wood again, and scale is going to be full, and just make sure your title is all filled in. Save that to your activity folder, and you'll be great. Upload it to Studio. All right. Do work.